Bureau Training Team, I would like to welcome you to Orca Encounter. Being a part of SeaWorld's mission is more than just a job. We are proud of what we do and it is a privilege for us to care for, build relationships with, teach, and learn from these amazing animals. Now more than ever, we are honored to share our relationships with the whales and what we have learned with all of you. And now, SeaWorld proudly presents Orca Encounter! to offer a voluntary blood sample. 
Now watch closely, in just a moment, we're going to have the whales join us here at the slide out area, and we're going to demonstrate a couple of those husbandry behaviors, including that position for a voluntary blood sample. Looks like Milani is getting ready to be pointed over towards the slide out area where Stacy is waiting for her. She has been given the signal to present her tail clues. Watch carefully. As she approaches the slide out area, we may back that up, but as you can see, Milani's got it. She's rolling ventral or upside down and presenting her tail clues to Stacy. So not only does this position give us a great look at her entire body, but it also gives us access to the blood vessels which are easily seen on the white undersides of her tail boobs. Our veterinarians collect a blood sample at least once a month, and the whales are trained to remain calm and relaxed throughout the procedure. Now, if you watch us as trainers, we're always rubbing down the whales, sometimes on their backs or their bellies, sometimes on their flippers or their tail loops. The whales have very sensitive skin, and this is just one way we can reward them for remaining calm throughout procedures like this. And it's also a really cool way for us to strengthen our relationships with the whales. Here comes Katina, the SeaWorld legend herself. There she is, 45 years old, still going strong. She is the SeaWorld legend, like I said. Now, blood samples are just one way we can make sure that the whales are staying healthy. Another important diagnostic is weighing the whales. And we're able to do that by simply asking them to slide their bodies up and out of the water, but onto a giant killer whale size scale that we have in one of our adjacent pools. And as you can see, Katina is demonstrating that behavior as well. Now, like I said, she weighs in at about 5,000 pounds or so of peduncle. It's very muscular and very heavy. If we were to weigh Katina with her peduncle still in the water, we would not be weighing the whole whale. So we simply ask her to raise her tail up and out of the water. And just like that, training this posture enables us to ensure accuracy so that we know the younger whales are growing properly and that the older whales are maintaining a healthy weight. Taking time for play is an important part of life for killer whales and for us. Did you guys know that killer whales love to play? They actually learn a lot by playing and they also learn through things called mimicry and observational learning. From a very young age, killer whales learn important life skills by playing games like follow the leader with their mother and other... Alright, you guys hang tight. We'll be over there in a minute. This side, if you would like to participate, stand up. Stay where you are, just stand up. All right, now you guys are gonna be the leader. We're gonna ask Malia to follow your movements. Now this one's a little challenging. I'm gonna need help, especially from the front row, okay? We're gonna march in place when I say go, not yeah. before, when I say go. But she's a little bit away from you guys, so we wanna make sure she sees you clearly. So get those knees up, no slapping, all right? Here we go, on the count of three. One, two, three. March in place, guys, get those knees up. All the way up. I'm talking knees up. There you go. There you go. She's got it. Nicely done, everybody. Thank you very much. You guys are good. Now, as you can see, she was watching you very closely. Killer whales are very curious animals, and we often see them jumping completely out of the water to get a better look around. And I think Katina's going to show that behavior off in the jump we call now. Get ready over at stage, everybody. She's going to be coming up and out of the water. Let's hear it for Katina. <laughs> Nicely done. All right, we said we were coming this way, this side. We got Nalani. I think we can do a bigger jump. All right, on the count of three, you're going to give a signal for a breach. Sound good? One, two, three. Go. Nice breach signal, everybody. Now, light about. Killer whales will breach to get a better look around. But more often than not, killer whales will reach to show off. So here comes Nalani showing off. Whoa. Folks, let's hear it for the whales and our awesome volunteers. Uh -huh. SeaWorld's research and observation of the killer whales in our care has shed light on many mysteries about, we you know that the gestation period of a pregnant killer whale is 17 months. That's information that would be impossible to gain in the wild. Some information, however, can only be gained through field research. And that's why SeaWorld partners with such groups as the Norwegian Orca Survey and NOAA to advance global education. 
Killer whales are powerful animals, and perhaps the best expression of that power is when we've seen them hunt. Killer whales.